are you? <laughs> good, good. Uh, this is Doc McClintock, folks. Um, he's going to be helping us today with looking at the Sechen of the Bubishi. And uh, he's going to be breaking it down uh, into the um, blood systems of the body and blood structures of the body and certain ramifications on those structures. Oh, I think I just lost you, sir. You still there? There you go. I'm sorry. Uh, someone was trying to call me in it. Some for some reason it cut, cut out. it out. Apologize. That's all right. Well, folks, uh, it's not perfect, but uh, we're into it. So, um, did you want to say anything before we get into the material? Um, sure. Um, first off, uh, I guess I'll just reintroduce myself, um, which I did in the previous video. Um, my name is Dr. Jacob McClintock. I'm an MD. I'm boarded in family medicine. Um, I did my initial training in, uh, in Little Rock at UAMS, and I uh, did my residency at UMC in Lubbock, Texas. Um, and for the last eight years, I've been working in uh, moderate, um, um, medium volume ERs, um, and I've seen a lot of trauma and um, become well-versed in it. And uh, so since then, i uh, kind of gotten into back into Q show and learning as much as I possibly can. And that's awesome. So. That's awesome. You know, it's funny because I believe that the word um, trauma is just another word for Q-show. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, these old warriors, they didn't mess around. They weren't going to do something that was going to just debilitate someone. They were going to do something that um, ended uh, the person's life so they wouldn't come back to them at a later time in their future. Yeah, and, you know, since I've been um, studying the vascular attacks um that's exactly what it looks like they were doing and they were uh, um their intent um what we're going to be talking about today are the uh cerebral vascular injuries the blunt cerebral vascular injuries um as it relates to the internal carotid and the vertebral arteries um and i can just tell you uh if you injure these vessels um, bad things happen, really bad things. <laughs> that's the and, one way of putting it, yeah. <laughs> so if, if you're wanting to kill someone or wanting to basically ruin the the rest of their life, um, then these are the targets for you. <laughs> right. Very right. dangerous targets. And what the uh, I think the katas were all um, evolved around. I do too. You know, especially Rokushu. Um, man, I, I, I've fallen in love with that kata. Uh, Many of these, of the techniques uh, from the kata, uh, they appear to be specifically attacking the internal carotid artery. And uh, we'll get into that in just a few minutes, um, sure. specifically what's going on. Sure. Now, we're going to do a little bit for YouTube. I don't want to get too specific. First of all, YouTube will probably block me like they have blocked quite a few of the videos I've put up, which is amazing to me. You've got uh, pornography on YouTube. You've got um, uh, file language. You've got people in fights on streets, real things, people getting shot. And I can't talk about karate. It's anatomy. It's amazing. I know. I know. It's really weird. Yeah. I definitely don't understand it. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, the Rokushu Kata, by the way, um, that uh, Dr. McClintock is uh, discussing, is on um, Kisho.com, and uh, we've broken it down into some blood attacks. You can see the um, uh, effects on the human body without um, massive trauma, but just um, light compression. And before we get into this, because you're going to be talking more about lacerations and um, trauma to these structures as opposed to um, mild compressions that I use for more martial application, um, do you still believe that the compressions on all of these structures uh, you're going to look at today would work? Um, I do believe that they would work. Um, and I know this because I've experimented with them in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class extensively <laughs> since I learned it. They feel and, a lot uh, of go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, <laughs> I try to hide what I'm doing, but, um, you know, lots of them won't roll with me anymore. So <laughs> good on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, I will say this that, um, even the mild compressions, uh, can be, uh, dangerous 
if done in just a certain way, which we'll get into later, um, just a certain, a, a, a few little tweaks of the movement and of your manipulation of your opponent, and it becomes, it goes from uh, a hypotensive response to a, a severe, severe injury. And we'll discuss that later. So. <laughs> yeah, and that's why we're not going to keep it on YouTube. Sorry, folks, but, uh, you know, if you're seeing this on the YouTube, uh, that's why we have to take it private. Uh, we want uh, to keep this system more closed door. And by closed door, I, do, I mean I don't want the masses. The YouTube jockeys out there, they grab something and they experiment with it. And we don't want anybody injured. We do everything in such a hyper-slow uh, mode. We experiment with something in an increasing uh, manner for 10 years before we make something public. And uh, even at that, I'm, I'm stopping in the blood system. We're only going to announce what was here, what's here uh, for the public, and then when we go into the closed door section of uh we'll get a little bit more involved with so people have a real understanding of what the Bubishi was all about, what the martial arts classes were all about, and um, what the real Demac and uh, there for in the future. Yeah, and um, I think I'm going to be able to um, corroborate a lot of the delayed death touch and the poison hand uh, theory uh, that we've all heard about, um, but that um, hasn't been really uh, dissected out into the specific, the true, true specifics of what's going on. But we are going to get into that today and hopefully get a really good understanding of how this works and why, awesome. and why the effects are so severe. Yeah, yeah, great, great. Well, let's get into let's get into that first one. You had written down on the notes. Um, take a look at uh, the 